Hey man, you mind if I use the restroom? Oh, I... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Do whatever. Uh, so Andrew, have you ever sold an RV before? No, but I used to work at Honda, and I sold lots of cars to suckers out there. Oh, what's that? You have no money to put down? Oh, no worries. I'll just talk to my sales manager, see if I can't hook you up with a discounted 13% interest rate on your loan. <laughs> oh my god, it was too easy. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I was really good at my job. Hey, I know you're new and all, but here at KRV, we don't refer our customers as suckers. This isn't your traditional uh, squeeze your customers for everything in the world kind of deal shit. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I got it. Uh, so, so you want me to actually pretend to care about the customers? Yeah, everything except for the pretending part. Uh, here at KERV, we actually care about our customers. Oh, of course we care about our customers here at KARV. I mean, they're practically family, right? Yeah, I got it down. Uh, Andrew, keep in mind, people buying RVs, uh, they like to barbecue. They're family-oriented people. And they take these RVs and they bring their families out to make memories. And one of the biggest things is to make sure that you're not judging people and you treat everybody with respect no matter how they look. As a matter of fact, uh, there goes a customer right there. Why don't you go and try to talk to that guy? Oh, come on, guys. He looks like a weasel. There's no way he has any money. He's just wasting our time. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I'll go talk to him. I had to bring him on. He's my cousin. My mom would have killed me. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? You appear to be lost. Um, is this the KARV dealership? Yes, uh, it is. Uh, but the food shelter is just a couple blocks up the street, if that's what you're looking for. Um, no, I'm actually here because I've seen some RVs on your guys' site, and I want to come down and check them out in person. You wanted to come check them out in person? Yes, sir. OK, very well. Um, but just to be clear, we don't sell trailers here. so. If you're looking for a trailer to live out of, this isn't really the spot. We specialize more in uh, travel RVs for families with money. Then I arrived at the right place. Nice to meet you. I'm Darion. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. COVID. OK, well, uh, let's get started. So I have a great use section over here to my, my left if no, you want to follow. No, no. I'm not looking for anything used. I'm actually here to purchase something brand new. Darren, I, new RVs are expensive. You know that, right? I, this Tiffin here is worth almost $300,000. Well, yeah, let's take a look at this one then. <laughs> is there a problem? Darren, I, I, let's not waste our time. I mean, I have this great, this great used Keystones, also a wonderful used van. You'd be the talk of the town, I mean, or at least the talk of the hood. <sighs> you know, Maybe I should go ask your boss for help instead. No, okay. It's fine. I'll show it to you, but just try not to touch anything, okay? So, what's your job? I don't have a job, man. Uh, figures. You must be getting that stimulus check in the mail then. What's that? Oh, nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Just take a look around. Yes, so it's the top selling diesel motorhome in America. Uh, yes, two bathrooms, wonderful. <laughs> As you can see, uh, and a refrigerator. Yes, uh, that's, oh, no, please. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Ah. It's nice. Bingo. Hey man, you mind if I use the restroom? Oh, I, uh, yeah, that's fine. Do whatever. Hey, oh, 
Hey, Derek, I'm gonna be right back, okay? Alright, man. Hello? Hello? Excuse me, sir, are you being helped? Oh, yeah, you know what? I, um, I spoke to one of the owners on the phone. Well, I can assure you, anything you need, I can help you out. Okay, I think it'd be easier if I just speak to one of the owners, because I was... Hey, hey I, I basically am one of the owners. Anything you need, I can get you. Oh, great. Um, yeah, you know, I saw an ad on Craigslist that you guys were looking for a nighttime security guard. I figured I'd come in and... Yeah, that's great. I, I can show you... Wait, what? Uh, yeah, there's an ad on Craigslist. You guys are looking for a security guard for the night shift. So you're not here to buy an RV and you don't have any money? <laughs> no, no way, man. I'm broke. I actually had to borrow my friend's car just to get here. Out of my way, you peasant. Oh. Oh, hey, uh, well, what's going on here? What's going on here is we're selling dairy on this motorhome. That's, that's great. I was just helping him out myself. Is that right? Because he was telling me that you were trying to point him to the homeless shelter out there. What? No, I, I, Darren and I are pals. Like, I was just about to invite him to poker night with the boys. Isn't that right, Darren? My name's Darion, by the way. See, let me give you some advice. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. You see, people with money don't feel the need to show off. They don't wear fake Rolexes and hand-me-down sports coats. But I thought you said you didn't have a job. I don't. I have a business. What, you didn't think I was capable of running my own business? Your ignorance just caused you a 10% commission on this RV. And if my map serves me correctly, that's $30,000 you just missed out on, like that. Uh, do you guys want to go inside and finish up the paperwork? Yeah, man, let's do that. That. Hey, Robert. I'm sorry. I really do need this job, though. I, I've been bouncing around from hotel to hotel, just trying to make it work. I mean, I'll start at any position. Hey, Andrew. I got a job for you. You can start by cleaning the toilet in my new RV. Apparently, someone let loose in there. It's absolutely disgusting. It looks like someone gave birth to a life-size shit in there. Hey guys, we just want to say a big thank you to Robert and Brandon for letting us shoot out of their RV dealership this weekend. Uh, if you guys ever find yourself in the Southern California area, make sure to reach out to them. Yeah, it was a pleasure having you guys. Uh, if anybody out there is looking to buy, sell, consign a motorhome, uh, fit for a trailer, anything, call us, okay? Here's all the info. Absolutely. Happy to help you guys. Shoot us a call, a text, an email, and then check out our website. We've got tons of stuff from the smallest little travel trailers to the biggest diesel pushers and everything in between. Financing, we take in trades, the whole nine yards, and happy to help.